Hi. Uh, what I wanted to talk about in this short video is I wanted to talk about uh, how to create a great day. And this is from my experience uh, just kind of working with myself to create great days over my uh, lifetime. And also it's uh, uh, from all my experience working with people around the world and in my training. So. So if you want to create a great day, you can start right now. And one of the things is, is to simply t uh, sit back and think and start to take a look at how much time you're spending and where your thinking process is going. And I, what I mean by that is I think a lot of us hang out in two different places. So one of the places that we hang out in, I think, is the past. And what I mean by that is we're looking at, at the past or we're hanging out in the past. And there's so many things that we may uh, wish we'd have done differently or sort of regret that we did or we want to be careful that we don't pull that off again. Or, uh, you know, we're kind of uh, walking our way through this minefield that we don't want to have that experience or those feelings again. And so the past has a pretty pretty an amazing influence over us. Now, the great thing about the past, I think, from my point of view, is you can learn a lot from it. But to hang out in it all the time is kind of um, gives us an experience of, of um, unsuredness. It kind of takes away from our confidence, an experience of confidence to hang out back there. The other part of it is to hang out in the future in such a way that you're seeing the future as something that's um, that's kind of working against you. In other words, you're looking at the future and going, OK, I don't want this to happen. I don't want that to happen. I'm going to I'm going to do these things. Uh, so looking into the future is uh, some of it is about worry. Now, I think that's great to do planning for the future. Of course, when you're in the game, you want to do all that kind of stuff and you want to really take a look at what your goals are and all that. But what I'm talking about here is not not that so much. What I'm talking about is this kind of a constant experience we have that something's going to show up or something's going to happen to us or whatever. So it's like this. So um, uh, if we have our if if our hand if my hands here are past and future, I think that what's happening here is that the place between my uh, the the place between my hands is the present moment, is the experience of the moment. And so on this side, there's the future and on this side, there's the past. And on this side, uh, we can we spend a lot of time thinking in the past and maybe in the future. And so we have this gap. And what that gap is, is uh, the present moment. So in other words, most of us are living an experience where it's past and future and past and future thinking all the time. And we don't live so much in the present moment. The idea, I think, to create an experience of of um, happiness or the experience of well-being or, or, or fulfillment in the experience of life is to be in the practice of mastery, which is the practice of mastery, is to open up this experience so, th so we're spending more time in the experience of the moment. That way we can connect with people in the moment. That way we can connect with the focus on our work and our career and what we're doing and focus on mastery. We can focus from from whatever it is, from walk, taking a walk and listening to the sound of the wind in the trees to being in uh, an important meeting, but being present in that meeting in such a way that you're in connection with the energy, with the experience, with the context and with the people in a meeting. So it can happen in a beautiful place in nature. It can happen in a place where you're fully in the game in that moment. But it really is the practice of mastery to take a deep breath and bring yourself into that present moment of experience. And you can do that right now watching this video, you know, that is just uh, experience what's what's in front of you and what's happening right now and kind of begin to let go of all of that stuff that that kind of frames our experience of life and doesn't allow us to really uh, fully engage in the moment. So that's the practice. Anyway, that's the practice I'm going to be involved with for myself. <laughs> and uh, and I want you guys to have a really great day. So practice expanding the moment of experience <laughs> in your life. <laughs> Thank you very much.